we're passing through the beautiful Swiss Alps on our way to Lucerne, one of the most charming towns in all of Switzerland. And it's just a sheer pleasure to be riding on these Swiss trains. They are so comfortable. And at this point, we have some fun. There's a real pretty little village with a church on top of the hill, and we get to see it three times. Once out one side of the train, and then again out the other side of the train. The train goes into the mountain, comes around a tunnel, and comes back out again. And then we see the same church a third time. Snacking on board. They've got some sandwiches you can buy on board the train, or you can bring your own food on board. Just sit back and relax, enjoy the sights, and soon enough we've arrived in Lucerne after that magnificent train trip. That is really the most spectacular single leg by rail of our whole tour that starts in Rome and ends up in London, going by train all the way. Settling into the heart of Lucerne, there's our hotel across the waters, the Balance Hotel. It's a very clean, modern interior, considering the building is about 400 years old. Most of the rooms have lovely views looking out across the river. As we gather in the lounge and get ready for our next little excursion, there's the signature of Lucerne, the water tower and the chapel bridge, the Keppelbrücke. Tom entertaining us with a little piano. And soon enough, we're on our way with a little walking tour, orientation walk through the heart of Lucerne. It's just a charming cobblestone town, especially the old town where the hotel is located along the banks of the river. There's some little mini shopping malls. And then we get to the Lion Monument, another one of the symbols of the city. It's carved right into the cliff. It commemorates a battle that the Swiss Army mercenaries were engaged in at the Tuileries Gardens back in the 18th century. Continuing our walk into the evening, there is a beautiful view of the swans gliding by on the river and the Keppelbrücke in the background, the Chapel Bridge, one of the signature sites of the city. One of the fun things to do at night in Lucerne is go to the folk show at the Stadtkeller restaurant. He's playing a sword. And then we get into the act ourselves and try the Alpine horn. Racola! Yeah, well, Mel brought the house down with that one. A good night at the Stadtkeller. Next morning, we're up and dropping our laundry off at the Jet Wash. It's a handy service. We drop a load off and pick it up at the end of the day after having fun. We're going up the mountains up to Mount Titlis. I hope you enjoyed the ride in the first rotating gondola on the world. It brings you up to 10,000 feet on to the Mount Titlis. I hope you can enjoy the beautiful day and the nice scenery. Thanks. You take three different cable cars to get up there, and as you can see, it is well worth it. You get a spectacular view looking into the heart of the Swiss Alps, and then you can have a little snowball fight because there's always snow up here on Mount Titlis. It's a glacier, so even throughout the whole summer, there will always be this beautiful blanket of white across the peak of Mount Titlis. We're at about 10,000 feet elevation. And we stay up here for about one hour. It's enough to walk around, have a look, take our pictures, and then we continue back down the way we came up. Three different cable cars to get us back down into the valley bottom, down to the village of Engelberg, and we take the train from there back into the CERN. It's a very fun half-day excursion. Real easy to do, and that caps off our visit to Switzerland. We stay there for two days and two nights, and then we continue along on our journey. We're heading north. This time we're going to the beautiful capital of France. We're heading to Paris. And along the way, we have more pleasant scenery. We're going through Switzerland from Lucerne over to Geneva in the western part of the country. 
Only takes a few hours to do that. Passing along the shores of Lake Geneva, they call it Lac Le Mans. And it's a spectacular sight with the vineyards rolling down the hillsides and the town of Lausanne in the background. It's another beautiful photo op for us. They do grow grapes for wine in Switzerland. They don't export much of it because they don't have a large production. They drink it all themselves, so you have to go to Switzerland to try it. 